To reduce the risks of chronic disease, disability and early death, preventative health is crucial and it will be digital tools that lead us in this fight. The real benefit here is actually getting information that is really relevant to making clinical care decisions into the hands of patients and into the hands of people in their clinical care teams. The challenge for Dr Shaper and others in this space is finding tools which grab the attention of the public, allowing them in an easy way to monitor and provide their personal health information. 90% of people want to participate in their own health care. They simply haven't had the tools to be able to do that. That excites me, that we've actually built that. Bob Biddle is CEO of Sanoa Health, which is developing HealthEnd, an intelligent platform created with the support and input of doctors designed to empower people to manage their own health with their GP's support. We build digital technology to support people in better health. It's pretty much that simple. And that's to support consumers, patients, providers, business, insurance companies and government. HealthEnd creates and monitors a personalised checklist based on age, gender and risk factors organised into a simple reminder system. You can keep track of vaccinations, allergies, fitness levels and upload documents for your records or to provide real-time lifestyle data to your doctor. The platform technology allows an effortless participation for people in monitoring and managing their own health care. It also educates, making a library of medical topics accessible by turning accurate but complex information into clear and simple animations. This is the pancreas, and this is what it looks like under a microscope. Meet Dr Sanoa. We all know that prevention is better than cure, but why don't we do it? The animations in which he features may appear simple, but they represent years of work. They are clever, medically accurate, and are set to revolutionise how we approach our health care. We've used um, sort of our animation storytelling techniques and illustration techniques to, to communicate um, that complex information to, to our audience. The animations and the platform inputs were created under the watchful eye of leaders in the medical profession. Constantly through the process, we were checking in with the doctors and they would, you know, they would view the material that we were creating and, and, and approve that. Also top of mind across the whole platform, data security. The information input by the consumer is incredibly secure. It is encrypted and uploaded to AWS servers. We can't access that information. That information is the consumer's alone and is theirs to do with as they please. Atticus Health is a primary healthcare organisation based in Melbourne. HealthEnd is currently being trialled by a number of GPs and patients at Atticus Health. Their mission is to really uh, bring forward and promote the cause of preventative health care and do that by leveraging technology. I found that to be a compelling idea and in step with the future of primary health care, so we're happy to get on board. Motivated patients helping track preventative health measures also frees up valuable GP time. It's the classic uh, sort of dilemma for a GP. You're wanting and you have the uh, aspiration to care about preventative health, but it is actually very hard in a limited period of time. That's the fact. So for someone who runs overtime like me, it's very helpful. Wearable devices, it doesn't matter what brand, are becoming increasingly popular. They're also becoming more complex, collecting more data. That makes them a great fit for health end. In the future, or now through Health End, that natural fit extends to the patient and their clinical care team. What we're going to see in the future is more and more collaboration between us as individual patients and consumers and people in our healthcare team so that we all are on the same page. And you know what I'm really looking forward to? A healthcare system that remembers me. Outcomes are generally good and you can expect to recover within a couple of weeks.